Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with MGM Marbella. With me, I've got the WBO light middleweight champion of the world, Demetrius Andrade. Do you know in this country, we call you sometimes Andrade, but it's not, it's just Andrade. Andre. You know, Andre, yeah. Andrade. Yeah, it's all the same, man. As long as you know that name fits this face, this tall, black, and handsome face, and uh, you know I'm putting that work and I'm greatness to come, and... Um, you're good. That's all that matters. I call you Andrade, but... Yeah, it's cool, man. Right? Yeah, it's all good, the man. Demetrius Andrade. It's, it's more, right. more stronger. Um, we knew about you. Some of us didn't really know how good you were. But you fought one of our fighters in Brian Rose, and you gave him a lesson, to be honest. And I think Brian would admit that himself. So, what did you know about Brian before this fight? Not a lot? No, no, I didn't know too much about him. just know he was the, the mandatory. The, um, he won the eliminator. Tough guy to be 25, and I believe he was 25 and one, um, and that um, he was coming to fight, coming to win. So you know, my job is to be prepared and brace myself for the fight, and be able to destroy whoever they put in front of me. Because you know, that's what I've been doing for a long time. You know, a lot of people, like you said, they really don't know how good I am until you know um, they see it. But as time progresses. I'm getting better and learning and having the experience in, in the professionals because what I did in the, in the amateurs doesn't mean I'm going to be great at the professional level. So I'm proving to myself and everybody else that I am going to be great. Uh, let's just make it clear that we knew you were a good fighter. We, it's not suddenly we heard of Demetrius Andre yeah. the other day. We knew, yeah. but when you fight one of our fighters, it's kind of like we take notice. I think some people take notice more. I mean, I, I took notice more. Didn't really know exactly how good you were, but I can see, yeah, you know. So, it's interesting, but what are your plans now? I mean, light, um, light middleweight division, who are you looking at? I mean, I'll, you know, there's everybody in my weight class is already fought or is about to fight. Um, the only person now fought maybe a week or two before me was Miguel Cordo against Sergio Martinez. And my time frame, me being on my break and getting back into training is the same as his. And so I believe we could see each other in, in October, you know, at the, by the end of the year. Everybody else is pretty much fighting next month or the month after. So, you know, they're going to have to wait for next year. Cotto will definitely be somebody I would like to get in the ring with to, you know, step up. He just beat Martinez, had a beautiful um, fight. And, you know, I think that would be something to put me in the next level, in the next category in the Mayweather sweeps, um, sweepstakes or, you know, even after that, I'd like to get in there with Carlos Molino, the winner of the Bun Ridge for the IBF. I'm trying to fight everybody that has belts. I want to be the best. I want to unify the division and I want to do like they did back in the old school. The best fought the best. Absolutely. There's not enough of that. There is sometimes, but there's not enough of that where the two best fighters yeah. in the weight are, yeah. are in against each other. Yeah, I know, you know, there's a lot of like, um, politics and you know promoters not liking each other and you know you know how Mayweather be like oh if you're with this guy listen I don't care who you with if you got a belt I have a belt let's put them belts up see who's a better man and let's walk away and let's see um, who stands that's what I'm about interesting fight in Vegas this week uh, Laura and Canelo yeah man at the end of the day I don't care who wins mm. I fight I fight the winner or the loser just because they both have good names, they're both great fighters also, and um, I want to prove that I'm better. Do you rate Lara? Do I? Do you rate him? Do I rate him? No, rate him. Oh, rate him? Yeah, do you rate I him? I mean, he's, he's he done had a few f good fights. Um, he's where he's at through all the hard work and the years he put in. Um, I actually fought him in the amateurs when I was like 16. He's about, what, 31, 32. So he's about four or five years older than me. Um, Gave him business. I still got on tape. So when that time comes, when me and Laura gets in there and he's been running his mouth talking about people saw, oh, he fought me in the amateurs, he beat me. I got the tape to show you. Um, you see how Demetrius Andre is consistently throwing punches. The score at the end of the fight was four to four to nine him. Like I only landed four punches in a four round fight. You do the math. And um, you know, that's it, man. I'm learning. I'm growing. I'm grinding. I'm hungry. And this is my time. And I'm doing what's best for me. Have you been to England before? No, I've never been to England. I've been to oh, Brazil, Venezuela, Hungary, Budapest, Moscow, Siberia. I've been everywhere but here. It's beautiful out here. I like it out here. What do you think I, of I, Liverpool? This is Liverpool. Yeah, li yeah, Liverpool is beautiful, man. Just a little... I've been out here for two days. Um, I'm, I was going to hit the Museum of Liverpool. I've been by the malls and stuff like that so far. The streets, the people are lovely and they seem like um, happy-go people. The, the, 
The Seem Liverpool, like it, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, they are, they are. The Liverpool people are great. They're called Scousers. Did you know that? Scousers. Mm. Mm. Uh, that's what they're term, like a, right. a nickname for people from Liverpool. Scousers, that's what they're called. So, right. do you understand? Have you heard a real strong Liverpool accent? No, not yet. Um, well, I mean, I, I asked for a few directions for people and I was like, uh, wait, one more time, yeah, or slow down, or like, you know, but, um, you know, I get the hang of it, I understand, um, but it's, it is strong, though. It is strong, definitely, but um, you'll get used to it. I don't know, you're not here for that long, but yeah, you'll, yeah. you'll get used to it in the next couple of days. But um, this isn't London, this is completely different from coming to London, so you'll have to, you'll have to get down to London one day as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually might leave today to go to London. Are you going to London back, today? Yeah, come back um, tomorrow for the weigh-ins or um, the next day for the fights. But, um, you know, I'm just living um, and learning and enjoying the experience that are not also that I brought for myself but what boxing have done by keeping me off the streets with my dad being my trainer and take care of um, his family and you know I'm doing the same and I'm also want to you know ex experience the world. Mm. Vladimir Biosse has he got a chance here against Callum Smith who's very well highly thought of here in England what do you think about um, the fight? You know, I, I don't really know about his, his, his opponent, you know, I know he got a nice size on him, um, but Vladin, he's been around us for a while now, so he, he has some good techniques and tactics that, he, you know, he's learning from, you know, myself and also my dad, and I expect him to go in there and do his best, you know, I'm just here to support the sport of boxing, and may the best man win at the end of the day, you know, I'm here to support him and show him, like, you know, give him that energy and that spirit. But um, it's up to him and his job to go in there and prove he's better than the fighter he's going against. One thing I want to ask you, there's been a, a topic in England that's been very much debated in the last couple of weeks. And it's about British fighters going out to America to fight when they're the underdog, basically. That's the, the cut and shut of it. But Brian Rose, there was a lot of talk because Brian Rose put himself into a mandatory situation to fight you. But a lot of people didn't see he had a very good chance of coming over there. So, do you see why fighters, even if, from promoter's side, if they don't feel, if, even if they feel that their fighter hasn't got a, a great chance of still coming out there to fight people like you? I mean, um, it's boxing, you know, anybody can win. It's a 50-50 chance. Um, one shot changed the fight. So, and it goes both ways, vice versa. Like, Americans don't want to come out here and be the underdog because, you know, the situation. But if you're a great fighter and you have everything it takes and you're going in there to win and get the knockout, that shouldn't be a problem. In Brian Rose's case, he fought Demetrius Andrade at his best. And, um, you know, Olympian. He won all type of amateur fights. And um, he took a shot. He, he it helped his, uh, he, it was conducive to his bank account. And it made sense, you know. He would have got less if I came out here. He got more to come out there. So, you know. You, you know, at the end of the day, it's about him and his family, what he got to do to survive. To be fair, Brian Rose was convinced he was going to come out there and he was going to beat you, and his team would have as well. So, if they've got that mentality, and why not come out there? Why yeah, not? Why, like I said, you know, that's all that matters is how the fighter feels, what he feels about the opponent, and at the end of the day, everybody should go in there feeling like, yo, you know what? I'm going to beat this guy. And... You know, not everybody got that, but my mental game is strong and I'm not letting nobody beat me. All right, well, listen, Demetrius, thanks for talking yeah. to uh, IFL TV. Enjoy your time in London oh, and yeah, in Liverpool. definitely. The best, 18 Boxing, Demetrius Andre, Facebook, Boo Boo Boxing, the Twitter, Boo Boo, the letter A, team, Boo Boo 18 for the Instagram. Follow me, stay tuned. The greatest is yet to be seen. I was going to say follow me on Twitter, but you already do. I don't know if you realize, yeah, yeah. but you already do. So uh, I'll yeah, I follow in. everybody back, man. Whoever follows me, I follow back. That's <laughs> it. You know, if you talk, say you say something nice about me or whatever, I follow, I tweet, I do all that. Sometimes I have somebody else run it because I be busy. But um, for you haters, I do not follow. For the people that um, like me and love me, I do follow. So, yeah. All right. Thanks for talking to yeah. Demetrius and enjoy your time in England here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. God right. bless you, man. Cheers. Keep up the good work. Thank you.